let's talk about candy. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things candy could be. So Max so, and I are going to talk about candy. Frank likes candy. I love candy. Sugar. Love it. I know. Piles of it. It's so bad for me and I know it is, but... And the teeth. And the teeth. So bad for the teeth. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. So, but Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, chocolate bars, I like Jolly Ranchers, Sour Patch Kids, Skittles, Sour Skittles, Charleston Chews, Zorro Bars, Zero Bars, Paydays, Baby Roots. You know, if there's a fucking candy bar out there, I want to eat it. I want to try it. Wow, you went through it like a baseball player, like <laughs> roster of like, yo, or like almost like some kid ran, like uh, went through like, you know, Santa's sleigh guys. You know what? But it all started at one spot. What? And that was those old school fountain soda places that would sell the hard candy in jars, just like you saw in Willy Wonka. Oh, so if anyone has a request in candy... I can make some flavors. Okay, so it's it's the yeah, sky's it's simple, the limit there. simple as an order on Amazon to get that flavor. Okay, wonderful. Let's make candy. Candy is dandy, Oliver. <laughs> First thing we're going to do, take our here sugar, dump it into a here pot with a candy thermometer. Um, second part, most important when making candy. You do not have time to joke around. It is straightforward. When it hits the 305 temperature, it's time to pour it out on your pan or your molds or everything. So you need to have everything ready and set up so that you're not wasting time going to grab the candy molds or, you know, oh, I gotta go pee real quick. No, it's gotta go now. Once again, this ain't playing around. This is hot. This is dangerous. It's hot and dangerous, yeah. If you get it on your skin, it's gonna suck. Alright? But at the same time, it's fucking delicious. It's Have amazing. you burned yourself? I burned myself multiple times, a thousand times with caramel. Every pastry chef in the world will tell you, you know, it's it's napalm. The more you try to wipe it on you, the hotter it gets, and it just keeps burning into your skin. It's all sorts of fun stuff. Oh, we're dumping our sugar. That's a lot of sugar. <laughs> oh, yeah, you thought candy was no joke, right? Oh, my God. <laughs> you dump your half a cup of corn syrup. You take one tablespoon of blood f orange extract. You take one tablespoon of cinnamon extract. turn the flame too high. You cook it until the thermometer reads 300 and well 300 degrees. And if you overcook it you ruin your pot? Um, if you overcook it you're just gonna be really sad. It's gonna start smoking, it'll start doing all sorts of terrible stuff. Hot, hot, hot! Now it's hot, a little too hot even. So we're gonna dump it onto our thing because we're gonna make a sheet tray of candy. We dump it onto here What's going to happen is this is going to harden, and then we're going to make a... We used a few different colors to get that. That was Frank's secret color he made. Something like that. Look at him, he's got to spread it nice and even, make sure it's got good consistency. Look what Frank did, he let the candy outside and it's starting to... But it's so cold though. It's not a problem. It's like, what, six degrees outside right now? Check it out. It's starting to harden. Out here on the side, you can feel like the glass texture of it. And this is where it's like almost pliable. At this point, you can shape it, mold it. It's still a little warm, so I could shape it or mold it or something like that, but... Leave your fingerprints in it. See, but out here I couldn't. Yeah, but you don't really want to because it's really hot. Yeah. See, there's no fingerprints. You can also it. How does this work? I can shatter it? Now we can shatter it. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip it upside down and remove. Oops, that piece broke it off already. Oh, that's why it's called shatter. This is old fashioned break apart candy. What they call it. My old school people out there will understand. People used to make it around the holidays for the families and send it in little tins. Oh, it's good. Wow. Oh, what a good flavor. 
Still fire, right? Cinnamon orange is highly recommended. Cinnamon orange, try to check it out. Max. There's like no plating to this, right? How do yeah. you plate this? Take some tongs? Yeah. Pull it down. That is great candy. We take our candy and we dump it in the bowl. Some of it goes on the floor. Take about that. two tablespoons of confectionery sugar and just toss it. So after we make sugar in the candy, we then take sugar and toss it with said candy, making it the ever so delicious holiday treat that you saw at your grandma's. Give it a toss. Then, watch Max eat some more. Watch Max eat some more. Oh, that's even better. With more sugar. Mm. Candies in a little strainer, and you give them a little toss to shake off the excess sugar. Now, as you can see, they're all covered a little bit of white. Take it right down here. Put it in this lovely bowl, Max, this mom happened to bestow upon us. Shout out, mom. Shout out, moms.